Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Illblamatic, Matic, Matic, Matic. It's the illest bird in the land. Welcome back to Ill Blur Matic. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's just thank you so much for coming in, liking, and subscribing. Let's get right into it. It's the versatile blur in the building today. And today's new video is going to be dealing with DC. It seems like DC is going in a different direction that originally was uh, pretty much mentioned by the new CEO, David Zazalov, that they're going to uh, reboot the entire DC universe. Wow, that is, that's, wow. I'm surprised, okay? Um, let's talk about this right now. So realistically, when I think about this, it made the most sense because honestly, um, a lot of fans I know are a little disappointed in me. I'm not disappointed in DC. Maybe it was time for that particular change to take place with Zack Snyder not being able to return to DC, maybe due to the strained relationship they had with his last release, Justice Lee Snyder's cut. Maybe it was for the best for them to completely reboot the universe. Now, let's talk about this. So, James Gunn and pretty much Peter Saffron have mentioned that this universe will be getting rebooted. Um, that means some of the movies that a lot of us were anticipating, like Man of Steel 2, will probably be a completely different Superman film. Hopefully, if Henry Cavill can uh, reprise the role... Um, that's the thing because, uh, his appearance in Black Adam seemed to not really work out the way it should have worked out. And they're pretty much saying that he may not return for Man of Steel. Well, not necessarily Man of Steel, but another Superman adaption. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, uh, like y'all, y'all told the man that y'all was going to do this and that. And not to have to hear that he may not possibly come back. It's a bit disappointing. You know what I'm saying? It's a little disappointing to see that. Um, also, Wonder Woman 3 got canceled. Also, pretty much Black Adam 2 got canceled, and that was due to box office sales. Um, and then you have Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol pretty much uh, will have season four, and that will be the final season for the show on HBO Max. So it seems like pretty much DC is kind of trying to figure out where they can go with their universe. I love how assertive that James Gunn and Saffron is. I love how James Gunn is just honest about stuff. Like he, you know, when I think about co-CEOs, because I wasn't really for sure how that was going to work with DC. I'll be honest. I think the co-CEO thing is working a lot better than a solid president. Even though they have a senior vice president, I think, the president thing was costly for the company with on top of that, a lot of canceled films, a lot of canceled TV shows. So it seems like DC realized like, Hey, we can't get Zack Snyder to return. He's doing his own thing. Now we want to pretty much come up with what's next for the company. And the other thing I could truly say about this is maybe this change was definitely needed. You know what I'm saying? Like the company's in the debt, uh, I can't forget to mention that, in a 50 billion debt. And I think with them trying to get another president, it, it just would have been big, it, it would have been costly, very costly uh, for someone else to take on this role, like a Kevin Feige, like DC always wanted. And they're not really trying to live up to that expectation, because that's a big expectation to have someone like Kevin Feige at DC, because we had Walter Hamada. He didn't really do well with it. Then we had the lady before that. Then at the, before that, we had another person. I'm like, well, DC's track record for presidents just is not working out well for the company. Um, and I'm happy to see that they realize that maybe we need to get this 10 year plan in order. Okay. In order. <laughs> um, it's interesting. It's kind of disappointing because I definitely wanted to see another Man of Steel. But if it's another Superman movie, fine. Same thing goes for Wonder Woman. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, there's a Hawkman movie too that's coming out. 
um, based off another version of Hawkman. So it seems like DC realized some things, even uh, they've done reshoots, actual reshoots for the Flash movie. I don't know how well that's going to do due to all the controversy around Ezra Miller. I know that it was well received by critics, um, but I don't know if it's going to sell in theaters. Not to say that I don't want it to succeed, but I just don't know if the controversy dealing with Ezra is going to scare some of the fans away from it. Um, but I mean, I guess DC realizes it's a $200 million film that they created. I guess they said, we're not going to cancel it. We're not recasting DC. Like, nah, bruh, nah, bruh. We ain't doing none of that. We, we putting this film out. Okay. Um, but it's still unknown if Ezra's going to come back to reprise the role. If, it does extremely well. It comes out next year in pretty much, I want to say June. I think they pushed it up. Um, but I, I like that DC's kind of getting some structure there uh, with the co-CEOs. I love that uh, pretty much James Gunn is meeting up with David Zaslav right along with Peter Safran. So I, I get it. This 10-year plan must be a big thing for them to probably hire new actors, new writers, new producers. Um, I want DC to succeed. I'm not going to lie. They're succeeding in their animated department. No denying it. But I would love to see them tackle more of their comic book live adaption uh, movies and see how well that goes. Um, I think the change was needed, you know what I'm saying, Um, for the company. Uh, And I realized that, you know, we're not going to always agree with what companies do. Um, even if you work for a company, there are certain things where you're like, I don't agree with this. I don't like this. But, um, I think some fans are just stuck on Zack Snyder because they're so, they're like, yo, they need to come back and bring him back. Realistically, I, I, I don't think he's coming back for, uh, you know what I'm saying? To help build this universe. Um, and I think they realize, well, we, we got to go with a new storyline and we're going to reassemble the Justice League and some of the other characters for the company. But you guys tell me in the comments, are you surprised that DC is going this direction, excuse me, for their company? And are you surprised about the cancel films, whether it's Batman Beyond, Wonder Woman 3, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, Black Adam, that got canceled, the second one. Uh, you tell me in the comments, guys, your boy, Ill Blur Matter, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Thanks for liking. And oh my God, y'all, we had uh, 1086 subs. Woo! Oh yeah. Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. Um, And like I said, it's a blur living in the world, guys. Have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday where you're at, excuse me, and I'm out. <laughs> for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much, legend.